Hello everybody, this is Dream of a Back 4, round 4 of Group E. And we have this quartet of matches this evening. Right, up first we are going to see Kaijon Cooper going up against Prismbo, searching for their first win ever. Then we have Jurassic Experts taking on Arctic Warriors. Up third we have Keonte going up against the Draw King Aaron Plays. And as for our main event, it is a clash of two former semi-finalists, Marn going up against MEJP10. That'd be a good main event, won't it? Right, up first we've got Kaijon versus Prismbo. Ooh, the Alpha Arena. Interesting. Right, in the red corner, for Kaijon, we have got Penticeratops. Kaijon Cooper, a win, a draw and a defeat so far in this tournament. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> They've like suffered... I wonder if they'll like get every kind of result possible. So they got a win, a draw, a loss. I think they need a 3-0 win, a 3-0 loss, a losing bonus point loss. Okay, maybe that's not possible, there's not enough fixtures. Anyway, in the blue corner for Prison Bow, we've got Paris Dino Tector. Um, yeah, they, they got the draw against Aaron Plays. But other than that, it has been um, two defeats, a draw. You know, looking to get their first ever win at a tournament. But they have been in matches, they haven't been played off the park, so to say. Well, let's see where they get the day. Okay, it's a tie. It's another tie. Ooh, the tie's gonna fill up that Dino Tector. Oh, but it's a crit from the Pentaceratops. That's gonna be a lightning spear. That's gonna be big damage to Prison Bow. And a good start from Kaijon Cooper. Are they. Are they starting to get their um, swagger back? Look at that, Emerald Garden getting triggered there. That could be crucial. A tie here. We'll finish off the Paris Tector. Oh! But that could be a big Emerald Garden from Paris. The green ball of death surrounding the Penticeratops with vegetation, sucking it learn life out of it. Right, so we are one hit apiece, and we are practically level pecking, but that could be crucial because Paris can survive a tie here. And it does get a tie, which means it's Dino Tector time! Dino Tector on! Hmm, an interesting moment of the match this could be. We've seen Prison Boat in this situation before, getting the Dino Tector. I think against Aaron plays, they didn't get the ultimate leaf, and that ultimately cost them. Oh, okay. It's wasted because Pentaceratops is going down anyway, but nice to see an ultimate. Massive hit from Prison Bow. But I'd probably say it has been an even start so far. Prison Bow winning two hits to one, a lot of ties. And let's be honest, even if there was a bunch of ties, I think Paris would have gone down anyway with the ties. Right, coming in next for Kaijon, we have got Euoplocephalus. Now, he'll have type disadvantage against Paris, but Paris is on such low health and has the ultimate leaf. All of its moves removed, I don't think that's going to matter here. And I think if Paris gets hit, it's going to do the same amount of damage anyway. Now, remember, the thing with Dino Tectors is that after it uses the ultimate leaf, Paris's moves do get a slight attack damage buff. At least it feels like it. I mean... I'm not saying for 100%, but I'm pretty confident in saying that crit there did more damage than it normally would. Okay, there's a hit. That's a mole attack, and that's going to be curtains for Paris. But it definitely did its job. Right, coming in next for Prison Bow, we've got Yangchunosaurus. Um, this guy kind of struggled to impose itself so far in this tournament. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Actually, what's interesting about this Yang Chung Source, it is the smallest fire type in this game, even though, stat-wise, if you actually look at the back of the card, it isn't actually measured as the smallest fire type. I think it's Alioramus. 
Interesting, isn't it? I mean, I can't remember... I don't right, re know the uh, latest size estimates for Yangchungosaurus, but I am pretty sure it is bigger than what Dinosaur King portrayed as. But back to the match. Yangchungosaurus getting a hit there. Prison Bow does have the slight lead here. Ooh, a Magma Blaster. That's going to be a big Magma Blaster. And that's going to put Prison Bow 2-1 up. Is this the day they get their first victory? Right, coming in third for Kaijon, we have got Torvosaurus. Actually, one of my favourite fire types. I don't know why, I just love the design for Torvosaurus. So cool. Uh, it's Super Torvosaurus as well, Awaken Mode on free. And we have seen that Awake Mode in action in this tournament. Um, well, I think if they can kill the Yangchungosaurus without the Awaken Mode, then Kaijon will be right back in this contest. But, you've got to get hits, and Prison Bow starting to turn that screw. Getting the hits on the board. Oh, that's a crit! Oh, it's a Lillian Cure. Oh, that's not good. Kaijon Cooper really in trouble now. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a Flare Sword. Well, the losing bonus point is going to be secured. Well, can Torvosaurus get this hit to get to the Awaken Mode? It can. And what a hit it's going to be. It's going to be a crit. Kaijon not beaten yet. But the unfortunate problem is that they're probably going to waste the Awaken Mode on this Yangchungosaurus. Okay, well, we've got your Volt Burst. Now, that Volt Burst could be critical here. Because it's Awakening Tide, and a Tide will kill Yangchungosaurus. And that will give Super Torvosaurus a chance to hit the Lexa. So a Tide is what Kaijon wants. It's a hit, I suppose, but it's not what they want. And the Torvosaurus' HP is going to be halved. One of those rare instances where you don't want the hit yet. Right, coming in third for Prison Bow, we have got Lexovasaurus. Now, well, any hit from Lexovasaurus will end this match and give Prison Bow their first ever victory. They're so close, they're so close. Can they do it? Or is Kaijong gonna pull off the comeback? Nope, no comeback today. That's gonna do it. And Prison Bow is going to get their first ever victory at a tournament. And Kaijon, well, compared to last year where they won every match in the group stage, having a very stuttery tournament. But it is Prison Bow's victory. Hmm. Well done, Prison Bow, for their first ever win at a tournament. Right, on to match number two. Right, the hole then, in the red corner. For Jurassic Experts, we've got Ampelosaurus. Now, an interesting field this, because both of our teams do contain an Earth type. So both our guys are going to get Terrain Advantage here. Now, the Terrain Advantage will be Arctic Warriors is initially, because their Earth Dinosaur is in first. And speaking of that Earth Dinosaur, in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we've got Kentrosaurus, which is actually going to get a hit in this match. And it's going to be a crit. Well, is Arctic Warriors luck in this tournament going to turn around? They got the win in round three. Are they going to get another one? Now, I think this is going to be a tough match because Jurassic Experts had a really good tournament so far. A solid team. I think they got the Omega Eel Cup carrier. They got the uh, Awaken mode. So it is going to be tough for Arctic to get the win here. But if they do get a win, that keeps Jurassic Experts reeled into that, you know, in touch and distance of the bottom four. And it gives Marn and MEGP10 later in the main event to put some breathing space between themselves and that bottom four. But a win here for Jurassic Experts does put pressure on Emmy and uh, Marn going into the main event. But so far, look at this from Arctic Warriors. What a start from the Kent. Oh, he got a craze, killed it. Arctic Warriors continuing that momentum they got from in round three with a Super Mimus. 
and Ampelosaurus goes down and Arctic Warriors is in the lead. And if you're Jurassic experts, this is not a good start. Oh my, if Arctic Warriors wins this match 3-0. Wow. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a combatant in any of my tournaments that has lost a match 3-0 and won a match 3-0. But no, this Eel Carcaria is no joke. You know, Omega Armor can blast Arctic Warriors to bits. But Jurassic Experts needs to get going here. Because look at this! Another hit from Kentrosaurus. Okay, that's a tie. But that's going to trigger the Quake Saber. Okay, there's the uh, tie recovery there. Okay, that was two. And... Oh, the mole attack! Well, this has been by far the best showing from Arctic Warriors so far. I think they've got more hits in this match alone than they have in the first three. Oh, but uh, your Karkiria getting a hit there. Oh yeah, the Earth Barrier was in effect. I forgot about that. Oh my god, he's 2 0 up! Now, Soropelter will get the next hit because it does have terrain advantage, I will say that. But if the Kentrosaurus can get off an Earth Barrier here, get. Okay, no Earth Barrier. But look at this from Arctic Warriors! They're 2 0 up! This is mental! Right, coming in third for Jurassic Experts. We've got Super Soropelter, Jurassic Experts. A chance to put pressure on Man and MEJ10, but. So far, it's just not going to plan. It's all falling apart here. And now, instead of Jurassic Experts getting a big win, Arctic Warriors could get the bonus point victory here. Right, let's get the terrain advantage done first. Right, that's one. Ooh, that's another hit. Jurassic Experts finally getting some hits in this match. That's a tie. Oh no, the Kentrosaurus went down. But well, they definitely done more in that map, this match alone, than it's done in like all the others. Right, coming in next for Arctic Warriors, we've got the Mega Raptor. Now the Mega Raptor Eel Carp matchup was a big concern, but Kentrosaurus did so amazing that that concern is gone. But an awakened hit from the Sorrow Pelt that could get Jurassic Experts back in this match. But they're finally putting up a fight here, Jurassic Experts. Oh, that's a crep. That's another tie. Now, this Sorrow Pelt, I believe, does have Sand Trap. So Arctic Warrior's going to have to be careful of that, but that's a crep. It's going to be awakening time. And another crit from the pelt that a Mega Raptor will go down. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, that could be a crucial hit from Arctic Warriors there. Is that going to end any hopes of a comeback from Jurassic Experts? I think it will. Because Sukaminus is coming in next. And well, that thing's been MVP for Team Arctic. It's been their best dinosaur. Massive hit from the Meg. And speaking of Megs, Megalodon's getting added to Evolution 2 tomorrow. Well, hey! Well, I say tomorrow, but uh, I meant the, si <laughs> the, 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 the day I'm recording. Oh, there it is! It's Arctic victory. It's a bonus point win. And well, have their fortunes turned around in this tournament? Massive win, and a result I probably didn't expect. I thought Jurassic Experts was going to get the win, but Arctic Warriors, Kendrosaurus, man, almost swept the whole team. Sukamimus having a well-deserved break. Right, that was an exciting match, wasn't it? On to match number three. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Kionde, we got Spinosaurus. Ooh. An interesting field, this, because this Spinosaurus will get terrain advantage, and in fact, it will start with a crit. But our employees will also get terrain advantage, because they have Spiny in third. 
Right, in the blue corner for Aaron Plays, we got Mataborosaurus. And even though it's a little fella, this Mataborosaurus has really put a shift in for Aaron Plays so far in this tournament. Even though they're winless and they got the two draws, in an alternate reality, I could have, you know, they could it could be 3 0. You know, because they have been very, very close games. And I expect this to be no different. Oh, but that's a big hit from the Spino right off the bat. Oh, but Mutt-Aburosaur is responding with a crit of his own. Great response from the Mutt. Oh, no. Badoosh. Ooh, but the Vortex has been triggered. So good response here from Aaron Plays. And another hit on the board. This time it's going to be some Metal Wing. The Aqua Vortex is going to be gone. And despite the terrain hit, this has been a good start from Aaron Plays. Now, in fairness, I think Aaron Plays has started well in all their matches so far. It's after we the Vice where it's f where it, it goes wrong for them. It's like the mid bit. A tie. Oh, but that's a crit from Keonte. So despite the good start from the Mutt, it is Keonte that has the narrow lead. Right, coming in next for Aaron Plays, we've got Ankylosaurus. Um, I was expecting a little bit more from this fella, if i got to be honest. Well, it, need, it needs to kill this Spino, and the tie will do it. Can't afford to get hit by a crit. Okay, there it is. The Kamikaze tackle is going to seal the Spino's fate, and we are level packing. Right, coming in next for Keontae, we've got Super Tank. Super Duper Tank. Await the mode on 4. Now, this thing has been impressive for Keontae in this tournament, and it has helped them secure a bonus point win. Over Jurassic Experts, I think it was? Can't remember now. Feels like an age ago since I started this tournament. We're only four rounds in. Although, this, this video does mark the halfway stage of the group stage. Some insane matches. Ooh, but that's a big shot by Tank. That's going to be a spike arrows. Big damage heading to the Ankylosaurus. Ooh, and an, is this Earth Barrier? Yes, it is. Massive hit from Keonde. Now, what's interesting is that even though they got less hits in this match, Keonde has the lead. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. And again, this Ankylosaurus underwhelming in this matchup here. Okay, there's a hit. That's going to get rid of the Earth Barrier. Would you really want to ram into that thing? Oh, hello. Aaron plays getting an Earth Barrier of his own off. I don't know if it's going to help him, though. Right, so that's twice. Two more for the Awaken mode. I'm not sure if Tank's going to survive, to be honest. Oh, oh, what have we got here? It's the Sand Trap. Well, this Ankylosaurus is finally putting up a fight. Oh, no. Well, we're on a beach, so Sand Trap actually makes sense. Right, that's thrice. So one more for the Awaken mode. Can Tank survive that longer? Oh, that's a tie. The sand trap effect. Whoa, that sand trap could be a big sand trap. Now, for those of you that don't know, sand trap it lowers your defense, your opponent's defense in a tie, so they take more damage. 
Right, coming in third for Keonta, we've got the T-Rex. This T-Rex got death fire, but it is going to have tight disadvantage when and if Spiny comes in. So that is something to take into account. Now, let's see if Tank would have got the next hit here. Okay, no. Oh, jeez, look at that! Well, that's the losing bonus point secured for Aaron Place, but they want the victory. Okay, there goes Ankylosaurus, but it did do its work in the end. Right, coming in third for Aaron Plays, we have got Spiny Tekta. With terrain advantage, so it's going to get the next hit, and it's going to be a crept. And if it, I, I think it's got Aqua Javelin. Oh, it's a Venom fan, so it's going to get the poison damage, so the T-Rex is going to be on really low health after this. So will Aaron Plays finally get over the line this time? There's the Pianitskisaurus coming in to do the poison. Well, if Deathfire gets triggered here, I think that's Keontae's only chance. Oh, it didn't get triggered. Yeah, that's... We've... That's going to probably do it. Yeah, there it is. Aaron Plays finally gets the first win of the tournament. You know, they've been so close in the first three matches, but they just came up short. But this time they get over the line and get that win. And as for Kion, they, they put up a good fight, but yeah. I think the terrain hit from Spiny and the type disadvantage, it would have been difficult for them to come back. And the fact that Death Fire didn't get triggered. Now then, on to our main event of this session, and it should be a belter. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Marn, we got Soro Baganax. Marn currently sitting at 2 and one but hasn't really been convincing so far. You know, they've been good victories, but nothing to really suggest they're going to have another deep run again. But a win here would really make a statement, because in the blue corner for MEJP10, we got Ulti Rhinus. MEJB10, 100% so far in the tournament, 3-0. And in fact, I'd probably say a win here, given the previous results, would all but secure a place in the knockout rounds for them. And they will get terrain advantage at some point in this match, because they do have the Euoplocephalus in second. But let's see how this match plays out. Ooh, it's a tie. another tie. Now I do like this Soro Fagnax. I do like its moveset. I think it's a solid acquisition for Marm's team. And that's a good start there. Getting an early hit on the board. Ooh, another hit. This is a steady start by Marm. Ulti Rhinus struggling at the minute. Oh, oh, here comes the crit. Here comes the light recovery. <laughs> Big shot from Ulti Rightness. MEJP10 responding with their first strike of the match and it's going to be a big one. And in fact, it'll put them in the lead. Massive hit from Ulti Rightness. But the Faganax unfazed gets another hit on the board. And that crit will seal the deal. A kamikaze tackle, and down goes Ulti Rhinus, and Marn will have the 1 0 lead. Well, it won't last because. Coming in next for MEGP10, we've got Euoplocephalus with the terrain advantage. So, after everything's said and done, we're going to be level packing. But with the terrain hit, Euoplocephalus does have a chance to get off an Earth Barrier. I will say that. And the elemental power activates there as well. I'll come in and it has tight advantage over this Taurosaurus. 
So even though we're level pecking, I do feel MEGP10 does have the upper hand here. Right, coming in next for Mar, we've got Taurosaurus. Now the saving grace for Taurosaurus is that it, its power is all in the crit, and its crit is Stomping Hammer. So, you know, it's only really Electric Charge is going to do very little damage. But anything else, it won't be too bad for Taurosaurus. And the Suoplocephalus has the Earth Barrier, and that's it. Oh, and I think it's got Quake Saber as well. But that hasn't been triggered yet. Now it'll get triggered. And Quake Saber here would be massive. In fact, a crit from either of our combatants could be massive. Both of these two got strong crits. Ooh, but it's Marn getting that next hit. Well, it's not really going to be a hit, to be honest. With the elemental power buff and the uh, type disadvantage the Taurosaurus has. But that attack boost and electric charge combo could come in handy. And for those of you that don't know, those two moves do stack. Oh, that's another tie. Let's see what Persephilis can't really land some damage. In fact, neither of our guys landing significant damage. Oh, here we go. A crit crit time, but they don't get it. Instead, Euoplocephalus gets the hit. Gonna max up that elemental power, and look at that! And an Earth Barrier, which could really help. Massive hit from MEGP10. Oh, that's Crit's gonna do it. And Taurosaurus goes down. Whoop-a-doosh. Well, it was going to come down to who got that big hit first, and Euoplocephalus got it. And because of those hits, MEGP10 now has the lead. Right, coming in next for Merlin, we've got Apatosaurus. Uh, it's very much a tie specialist, Apatosaurus, here. No super moves, which will actually help in this matchup because of the elemental power. So it will ignore the elemental power buff that the Euoplocephalus has. Now, Elemental Power will still be useful for MEGP10 if they get hit with their Earth moves. Ooh, there's a tie Bomb. This is going to get rid of the Earth Barrier. But Marm does need to get some hits here to get rid of this Euoplocephalus. Oh, but that's another hit. MEGP10 opening up a decent lead here. Okay, another hit from a Patasaurus, another tie bomb. A tie would be a welcome addition here. Well, especially now because Euoplocephalus is in killing range. Oh, but that's another hit. Well, that's the losing bonus point secured. Oh, well, it's not going to make a difference. So that is the losing bonus point secured, but can MEGE 10 get the bonus point victory? One hit will do it. No. It will not get the bonus point. And the Europlocephalus goes down, but man did take a big beat in there. And you do feel that it's only a matter of time till MEGP10 gets that hit to get the win. Can Man rally back against this Torvosaurus? Can they come back? <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Ooh, they get a crit. The tie bomb's gonna help. Another hit, and that could should secure the losing bonus point. Can they get it? Nope. That's it's gonna do it. It's gonna be MEJP10's victory. And they go 4 0 in this tournament and all but secure a place in the last 32 round. And that could be a massive result for them. As for Marn, well. Unfortunately, just didn't do enough to get the losing bonus point and did come up short. But yeah, a very good contest, an even contest there, but. I think once one team got the big hits and got the lead, it did feel like that one team was going to win. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, 
the biggest winner in group in this group for this round 100% MEGP 10 15 points four out of four and their closest contenders all lost this round as well experts man and Kaijon all got defeated and it was definitely a big a, an important round for the guys at the bottom as well picking up points but look at this nothing I can't separate these guys identical records and they've all played each other and well Arctic beat Jurassic experts Jurassic experts beat man man beat Arctic <laughs> a guy can't separate them so they're all staying on seven points and then we have Aaron plays on six points there getting their first win of the tournament Kaijon Cooper on five above Keontae because they do have a better record than Keontae in this tournament and then Prison Bow getting up to four points. 100 definitely not out of it. A bonus point win in the next round. They could go second. Group E is so, so tight. I mean, looking at it though, it does look like MEJP10 is probably going to run away with this group and win it. But like these three spots are definitely up for grabs. And yeah, that's going to end the session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.